Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys two different methods that you can either purchase or transfer Ethereum into your trust wallet for the purpose of swapping it to other tokens. Uh, so there's two ways I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to show you one way right in Trust Wallet where you guys can purchase Ethereum directly, and then we'll go right into your Trust Wallet, and then I'll show you a method from transferring it over from Binance. So we're going to purchase it on Binance and then transfer it over from Binance so then we can start swapping for other tokens. So first step I'm going to show you on Trust Wallet is to purchase Ethereum right on Trust Wallet. Now, to do that, once you're in your wallet here on Trust Wallet, you can just go over to where it says Buy. Once you click on Buy here, you'll have an opportunity to click on any one of these tokens to purchase. So we just go ahead and click on Ethereum. And then right here, it's going to ask us to choose a third-party provider. So right now, it's showing me MoonPay and Simplex. And it's telling me that MoonPay has the best rate. Uh, so uh, if you guys want to purchase it on here, you just type in the amount of US dollars you want to transfer into Ethereum. And then you would just click on Next. And then right here, it's going to bring you to Moon pay.io which you just have to sign up here with your email and then put your credit card information once that's done there it'll then transfer to your wallet usually within a couple minutes so that is an option i usually recommend transferring it from an exchange reason being is you do pay a premium doing this whenever you buy crypto with a credit card there usually is a premium that's attached to it unfortunately but that is an option here uh, if you guys would like to do that it is direct which makes it a little bit easier but you are paying a bit more now, say, for example, you want to transfer it from an exchange. It could be an exchange like Binance, Gemini, uh, Kraken. It doesn't really matter. Whatever exchange that you have uh, access to, pretty much. And so what first thing you want to do, for example, is if we're using a Binance, scroll into your Binance. And then at the home page here, you'll see an option for credit and debit. So if you just click on that, we'll be able to choose what crypto we want to buy. So let's just say if it was Ethereum, I can go ahead and click on Ethereum. And then right here, it'll ask me how much money I want to transfer into Ethereum. So let's just say it was $100. I could type in $100. Click on continue and then it'll ask me for my payment method and I can go ahead and click on confirm at the bottom. Now, once you have your Ethereum purchased, you can just go over to your wallet, find your Ethereum so by typing it in in this little search bar here. Once you find your Ethereum, you can click on it, click on withdraw, and it's going to ask us to paste an address. Where you're going to find your address is actually right in your trust wallet. So if you just head back over to your trust wallet, go to Ethereum, click receive, and then right here is the address we'll be using. So you can click on copy for that and then get out of it here. Go back into your Binance or your exchange, and then you can just put the address in the address section. It will not allow me personally to do it because I have a whitelist enabled, so it won't allow me to do that. Uh, but once you click on your address and paste that in here, it's gonna ask you for a network. And for network, you wanna make sure you're on the ERC20 network, the Ethereum network. And then of course at the bottom here is the amount that you have to transfer. So you can just put in the amount that you wanna send over to your trust wallet. And once you're done doing that, you can click on withdraw here at the bottom right. And once that's done here, we can head back over to our trust wallet and then our Ethereum will arrive here usually within 5 to 10 minutes max. And then we'll be able to go ahead and purchase tokens using Uniswap or other decentralized applications. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out showing you two different ways that you guys can either purchase or transfer Ethereum into your trust wallet. If this video did help you out. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.